Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to Rika's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make this tasty and easy biryani recipe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week. Then stay tuned and enjoy my recipe. On today's ingredients, you're going to need a half a kg of mutton meat or you can use any meat that you like. Biryani powder, 1 tablespoon. Beef masala, 1 teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Jumbo or Maggi cube, optional. 1 tablespoon of garam masala. 4 large onions cut into small slices. A handful of coriander leaves. A quarter cup of cooking oil. 5 tablespoons of yogurt. Ginger garlic paste 3 tablespoons, 4 large potatoes, 4 large tomatoes cut into small pieces, salt to taste, food coloring and orange one, 4 large boiled eggs, 1 lime, and lastly 3 tablespoons of tomato paste. In a pot, start by pouring some cooking oil and let the oil heat up before frying anything. Meanwhile, while the oil is heating up, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of orange food coloring into the potatoes and mix them well. And afterwards, we're going to fry our potatoes. Once the oil is hot, deep fry the potatoes and cook them for about 1 to 2 minutes. Make sure when you fry the potatoes, don't let them to become soft because you're going to cook them once more into the stew. After 1 to 2 minutes, remove the potatoes and place them aside. Then the next step, we're going to fry the onions till golden brown. Stir the onions constantly so that the onions can have a nice golden brown color evenly. Once the onions have a nice golden brown color like this, remove them from the oil and place them on a plate. Then afterwards, we're going to make our stew. On a medium large pot, start by adding the mutton meat or any meat that you like. Then add ginger garlic past 3 tablespoon, 5 tablespoon of yogurt, a handful of coriander leaves, 4 chopped tomatoes. Then you're going to add the spices which is beef masala, biryani powder, turmeric powder and garam masala. Then sprinkle some salt to taste. Then add jumbo or maggi cube optional. Then pour a quarter cup of cooking oil and add 3 tablespoon of tomato paste and squeeze one lime and mix everything well. Mix the stew very well so that the spices can blend in well. At this step, I usually like to put the stew in the fridge for 5 hours so that the spices can blend in well. But today, I'm going to cook the stew immediately. Let the stew to cook on a low medium heat so that the stew doesn't burn at the bottom. Once you get to see the stew is starting to cook, add the fried potatoes and the onions that we fried them in the beginning and mix everything well. And let the stew to continue to cook on a low medium heat. Mix 
make sure after every five minutes you start the stew to avoid the stew from sticking at the bottom. Then let the stew to cook on a low medium heat till the stew is well cooked and thick. It took me about 1 hour and 30 minutes till my stew to be thick and well cooked like this. Then lastly I'm going to add the 4 boiled eggs and mix everything well and slowly to avoid the eggs from mashing out. Then let the stew to cook for another 3 minutes then your stew is ready. So the next step I'm going to cook my rice. I'm going to use this microwave rice steamer or you can use a rice cooker or anything that you like. As you can see in the video, I've already washed my rice. I used one and a half glass of rice. Then I'm going to add two glasses of water and sprinkle a bit of salt and stir and cover to cook in the microwave. I'm going to place my rice steamer in the microwave and I'm going to cook the rice for 15 minutes and my rice will be ready. After 15 minutes, my rice is ready as you can see in the video. I'm going to mix my rice before decorating it with food coloring. The first color that I'm going to use is the orange one. I'm going to dilute it with a bit of water and some oil. Then sprinkle all around the rice as you can see in the video. Then afterwards I'm going to dilute the red food coloring with some water and oil. The oil which is aside, it's the oil from the stew, it was much. It's really good to use this oil because it's add an extra amazing smell to your rice. Then lastly, I'm going to add this green color to the rice and I'm done decorating my rice. Cover the rice and return in the microwave for 2 to 3 minutes so that the colors blend in well with the rice. If you're using a rice cooker or a pot, you have to do the same. After 3 minutes, our rice is ready. Mix the rice so that the colors can spread evenly and our rice is ready and serve on a plate with some stew. And my meat biryani is ready as you can see in the video this is so so delicious you can eat along with banana chili or anything that you like and enjoy your biryani thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it and if you want to see other recipes i'll put the links in the description box and if you have any questions you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.